There are two types of macular degeneration, the dry and the wet type. The dry type is much more common, but the wet type accounts for the majority of cases of visual loss and blindness. Signs of the dry type include loss of the cells in the back of the eye and aging spots called drusen. If you have either fluid or blood in the back of the eye, then the diagnosis of wet macular degeneration is made. The dry type can convert to the wet type, so our main goal is to try to prevent this form from occurring. Studies show that about one-third of patients with dry age-related macular degeneration will progress to the wet type within five years. Significant research has shown that a diet that is rich in antioxidants is potentially beneficial for macular degeneration. So I recommend that anyone with AMD regularly eat foods that are high in antioxidants like spinach, berries, orange peppers, and kale. In addition, there is some evidence that eating fish on a regular basis may help, as might drinking red wine. There is clear research that shows that taking vitamins can prevent progression of the dry type of macular degeneration. Specifically, AREDS, or the age-related eye disease study, showed that by taking high doses of vitamins, you can actually lower your chances of progression by 25%. There are also clinical studies that show that lutein, a naturally occurring antioxidant found in green leafy vegetables such as spinach and kale, is likely beneficial for dry AMD. Because of this, I routinely recommend vitamins that replicate the levels used in the AREDS study and contain lutein for my patients with dry macular degeneration. Smoking is very bad for people with macular degeneration. Numerous studies have shown that smoking raises the risk for developing macular degeneration and is a risk factor in progression. So if you have macular degeneration, you have yet another reason to stop smoking. It is important to remember that beta carotene can raise the risk of lung cancer in smokers. Because of this, there are vitamin supplements made specifically for smokers to lower this risk. While we are not 100% sure how macular degeneration starts, there is some evidence to suggest that it is a problem of the blood vessels. Research has suggested a link between high cholesterol and blood pressure and AMD. Because of this, I recommend that both of these be routinely checked and aggressively managed if elevated. The last thing that I would do is regularly monitor each eye for conversion to the wet type of macular degeneration using a grid test called the Amser grid. With the Amser grid, I use one eye at a time to see if there is any new areas of loss of vision or if a patient is developing any new signs of distortion.